Hello and a welcome to today's video which is my recreation of Source A um, that matches exactly with the style of Source A in the June 2017 exam paper. Um, I'm going to read the text to you. Uh, you'll be able to freeze the screen to make sure you understand it fully before you tackle my later questions um, on this very text. So, this is a short story by Dominic Sales. It is the early 2000s, and Regina, a teacher with a huge Twitter following, is trolling on social media from her home. Over the face of her keyboard, Regina began a barrage of abuse, and that was usually the way she spent such a brilliant evening, because a Twitter account and a poisonous tongue and a quiver of quips are just perfect for some social media trolling on a laptop. As she tweeted the world on the web, swigged her wine with one gulp and spat at her victims in 140 characters, Regina decided she could have sold her mother for a viral tweet, something vindictive and destructive and glorious. Regina gazed down at the screen. Her fingers were buzzing and furious. The tweets whipping through the ether lacerated her victims with sarcasm and emojis, and their pathetic replies tweeting about this were drowned kittens. Her eyes were blazing hot, and she imagined the tips of her fingers and teeth could be sharpened with cold, merciless steel. There was an exponential trend of outraged followers. It seemed to be exploding out of every screen in the city, and each sought the same target, crying so softly, sobbing in her room. Regina laughed delightedly and shrieked at the ten best tweets from her followers. She felt almost invincible. Inside her power-crazed mind, the whole internet of users across the planet seemed to worship her blank, airbrushed face. So hopefully you're picking up the rhythm of these sentences. It's exactly the same, identical to the rhythm of the sentences in the 2017 paper. Um, the nouns, verbs, adjectives and uh, adverbs all in exactly the same place in the sentence. All the punctuation exactly the same in exactly the same place. Um, so everything that you study on this paper will be directly relevant to the 2017 paper. So let's get back to Regina. She started to remember all who had upset her that week. Could she ever forgive, the, forgive that dreadful head teacher in her sleek Jimmy Choos, or the deputy who had examined every grade in her class and then pronounced she would come back tomorrow to discuss these properly? Regina could not resist a sneer. Her students were just thick. Yet, there was still her best friend, Amelia, most followed on Twitter with a sensational Instagram and a blog with the influence of a giant black hole sucking up followers she harvested from Twitter all week. Regina had hated her face all this time. No blemish had marked it, such a beautiful face and so unfair. How perfect is the life I lead, Regina, this face had asked, as Regina sharpened her revenge, drawn from her envy, gazed at her reflection and cursed at Amelia's profile. You don't have a boyfriend, she had crowed, just a string of followers that stretches around your ego and lingers on your photos and salivates in droves across the globe, an obscene web print. Regina gazed at Amelia longingly. How many girlfriends have you had? Regina had been very slow to love. Harry would seem to be perfect, yet Regina was not fully happy. Then she imagined the pristine, untouched bed upstairs. Oh my God, Amelia, she had messaged. I've just read a post that will shock you badly. Regina had rerouted, delightedly, doctored a profile, created a trolling account, and now here was the brilliant rumour. Surprisingly single, beautiful, with a fine, fat following, and a perfect online life, Amelia was gay. It says you are a lesbian. Regina had pressed send, and then waited for mayhem. Let's see how the world judges me, Amelia had replied. Regina turned to the mirror and noticed a brimming tear, then gave in to them. Hi, Regina, I'm home, 
Harry called. Have you heard? he exclaimed, entering the living room. Your friend Amelia! Gay! A sudden, overpowering sense of envy now gripped her. She longed to throw the whole pinging laptop in Harry's face and bent over her screen, stunned. You're trapped in your own lies, Regina, she realised. Her love bravely faced her public and left Regina with Harry to take to bed with her. Harry understood immediately and turned back to the front door. Poor Regina, she heard him say. So there are quite a few shifts in perspective in this piece, which is exactly what you'll find in the 2017 paper. Um, so you've got Regina, this trolling um, teacher on Twitter, and you've got her best friend, who is Amelia. And as you read it, you should have got used to the idea that um, Regina hates Amelia, even though Amelia is her best friend, because she's completely jealous of her. And she decides to expose Amelia on um, Twitter, on social media, as gay. And so Amelia obviously hasn't told um, the world at large that she's gay, but obviously. Regina, as her best friend, knows this, and she sets up a fake account to expose Amelia um, so that Amelia will face a Twitter backlash. However, Amelia decides that it's time that she came out, and she lets the world judge her as, as a lesbian. She doesn't care about this. She thinks now that um, her fear of coming out was misplaced and, and that she should let the world know. Um, and this causes Regina... Um, incredible heartache. Um, if you've been reading closely, um, you will see that she's not just jealous of Amelia, she's actually in love with her. Um, and so the subtext, or if you like, the twist of this is that Regina herself uh, is also gay, um, but has also repressed this. Um, so she's in this loveless relationship with Harry. Uh, he obviously loves her. But she can't fully return that love because um, she's not heterosexual. She, she is, in fact, much more gay than she is heterosexual. Um, but this revenge that she's taken on Amelia is the very thing that will stop um, her ever getting together with Amelia, the woman she loves. And the ending, where Harry understands this immediately, shows that he understands Regina is actually in love with Amelia and that Regina is gay, um, uh, but Regina is not willing to admit this to herself. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the story. This is actually the absolute best way to revise for this exam, but also the best way to learn to be a good writer. Uh, so you take another author's writing and you try to follow the pattern of their writing as I have here and then turn it into something of your own. So in the 2017 exam, you're just given um, an extract uh, from a novel. Um, but because I was working so hard to craft this, uh, it's, it's quite difficult. But it actually challenged me and forced me to turn this into a whole short story on its own, um, as you've just seen. Uh, so this is my top recommendation for you in, in your own writing. And remember, 50% of your marks on this exam are for your own writing. So this one technique which I've just demonstrated um, will propel you into uh, grade 7, 8 and 9. Well, why am I so certain of that? Well, imagine this. If you take any published author, could they get a grade 9 in the GCSE? Damn right they could. Um, so if you imitate that author, you are learning to write at well, beyond grade nine. I mean, they'd be better than a GCSE student, wouldn't they? So my story here is better than a GCSE student can write. Well, it's not because I'm a genius. It's because I've just taken a good writer and copied them and turned their writing into my own. So that is my number one recommendation to you. Do that and try it. Uh, and then come back to this text because my future videos on paper one will be based on this text exactly. Um, I've written questions which are just like the ones in the 2017 paper. So that's what question two will look like. We won't read it now, you'll see the later video. And that's the second part of question two. That's what question three will look like. 
and question four. And these questions are exactly like the ones in the 2017 paper. So to repeat, um, if you do these before the 2017 paper, you will be able to test exactly what you have learnt and how much your revision has helped you or not. And if you do the 2017 paper first as a mock, then try these questions, which follow exactly the same principles, and you'll see what you've learnt from the mock. Uh, good luck with your revision. Don't forget to subscribe if you won't if you want more. And most importantly, go out, find some writing that you love, and imitate it. Good luck.